Welcome to the Barreto family. We are celebrating New Year's Eve today and it has been a busy day. We spent the morning helping out one of Andres's brothers and sister-in-law. Um, they have some shops and it's tradition here that at the end of the year or at Christmas time you give your employees a, a gift basket. It's like a bonus but a gift basket. And so last night we actually went and helped purchase them because the pre-made ones are super expensive for really just not useful products. You get in a pre-made one, it costs 80,000 pesos and you get pure sweets. You get caramel and marshmallows and wine and things like that. And so they asked us to do kind of groceries instead. And so we went last night and used 40,000 pesos and we're able to get 15 items per person. And so we spent the morning putting together those boxes and handed them off to his brother and sister-in-law and then they took them to their employees today. And then after that, we went and visited Andres' dad. Um, like I mentioned in our last video, we weren't able to visit him on Christmas because traffic was insane. But we were able to visit him today and got to spend some time with them and just enjoy breakfast and chatting and they got to hang out with Eliana a bit, which was fun. And then now, oh, and then we went to a shopping center to a mall and just enjoyed lunch together and a special coffee and just spent some time together. And now we are headed to see Andres' mom. But as we were just now talking, we were talking about some of the superstitions here in Colombia. They have a ton of superstitions about the end of the year and the things that are important for like setting yourself up for success in the new year and prosperity. I'm trying to think. But I asked Andres to take a moment and share with you some of those superstitions. And this just gives a little bit of an idea of what we confront what we face as Christians, as believers here, because these superstitions are so ingrained in people that even the Christians do them thinking that it will bring them luck, thinking that it will bring them prosperity. And we know that that's not how life works, that that's not um, what the Bible teaches. But it's interesting because you see it so heavily in this culture. And so I'm going to have Andres tell you some of those superstitions or beliefs about the end of the year. All right, Andres. Bueno, buenas tardes. Eh, le voy a contar que una de las de las tradiciones o de las cosas que se hacen para este día es quemar un un año viejo. Entonces, ¿qué es un año viejo? Lo personifican. Eh, hacen un muñeco con ropa y lo rellenan de ropa y lo rellenan de pólvora y lo que hacen es que le, le colocan un nombre puede ser el, la cara del presidente que está en el de turno puede ser eh, algún futbolista alguien que hizo algo malo durante el año eh, este año vimos que que había algo como de que alguien hizo un año viejo de COVID para quemarlo y ya como como la tradición, ¿no? Entonces, the, the idea is that as they burn <coughs> as they burn this old year as they burn the, the doll that they've made for the old year that they're getting rid of that bad and preparing for a whole new good and honestly, the scary part of it is it's almost like witchcraft. Um, it's, it's a really weird tradition that definitely does not have good roots to it. But you see it all the time here in various parts of the city. Um, they'll set one up for like the community. So it's just an interesting tradition that I've never seen anywhere else. Entonces, entonces lo, entonces lo que hacen, lo que hacen es que lo ponen en una esquina y ponen una alcancía para que la gente done plata para poder comprar pólvora en la tarde y en la noche a las 12 de la noche lo queman. 
And here's another tradition right here. They're selling grains. You'll probably hear the music. The 31st, New Year's Eve, is like an all day long party. Um, lots of music. But what I was saying about the, the mm. grains. So they'll purchase that like head of wheat. And attached to the head of wheat is a little bag that has 12 grains in it. So like a bean and a garbanzo and a, lin a lentil uh -huh. and things like that. But it has 12 in it. And the idea is that you put it in your house and it brings you prosperity. Each one of those grains represent one of the months. So by putting it in your house, you're bringing prosperity to your home for 12 months. And they also typically have like a fake bill like the highest um, monetary value attached to it. Each part of that is all about prosperity and all about not ever being without on your table. So having enough food for the coming year. But again, I don't know if you would call that idol worship. I don't know. But either way, there's nothing biblical about putting your trust or hopes in purchasing a little piece of wheat and bringing that into your home for prosperity or for um, so that your table will be blessed in the next year. And so again, I don't know I don't know what you would classify that as. I would love to know your comments down below. Would you consider that witchcraft? Would you consider that idol worship? I don't even know what necessarily to qualify it as. All I know is that it's not correct. And so that's another one, um, and there's still more. Craziest thing I've seen today, a giant dog in the middle of a motorcycle. It's like a husky, it looks like. That's a big old dog. I mean, it has a harness, but wow. We just got home. Thankfully, traffic was not too bad in Bogota, and where we were able to visit some of Andres' family, got home at a decent hour to get this little one in bed, but I'm curious, what do you guys do to celebrate New Year's? Um, I mean, my family growing up, we didn't have a whole lot of traditions. We watched the ball drop and drank sparkling juice. But I'm curious what you guys do. So if you have something you do to make traditions and something you do, yeah, something you do with your family, put it in the comments down below. I'm curious what you guys do. But, as we were mentioning, here in Colombia, they do a lot of different, like, superstitious things. So, we're going to quickly cover the last four. One of them is grapes. So, today, the sales for those little sprigs of wheat and for grapes goes through the roof. So, the tradition is that at midnight, right when it turns midnight, you eat 12 grapes, one for each month of the year, and that's supposed to bring you prosperity for the new year. So again, another superstition that if you eat those 12 grapes, you're going to have prosperity in each of the 12 months of the year to come. Bueno, otra, otra de las tradiciones es que las personas cogen una maleta y dan la vuelta a, a la manzana o al conjunto donde viven por fuera para que ese año que entra sea un año en el que pueden viajar mucho. They just run with an empty bag around the block. So that they can y travel. usted ve personas corriendo a las 12 de la noche con una maleta, jalándola o cargándola y corriendo para que ese año puedan viajar. Another prosperity thing is that they put on yellow uh, attire and specifically yellow underwear. So that's one of the things that all the shops stock is that they put on yellow underwear and that's supposed to bring prosperity. So at midnight... They need to do all of this. At midnight, they need to have those grapes to eat. They need to run around the block with a um, bag, and they need to have on yellow clothes or underwear. So just crazy things that they do, thinking that it will bring them prosperity, thinking that it will bring them good fortune in the new year. And then the last one. Bueno, lo otro es de eh, poner ya sea lentejas o arroz o frijoles en los bolsillos de las personas que usted saluda a las 12 de la noche. Porque eso le está deseando a usted bendición. Usted ya está dando las primeras bendiciones a los demás de ese nuevo año. Y así también usted va a ser bendecido con, con lo que usted pone en los bolsillos de los demás. Entonces, como la vida le va a recompensar por eso. Y, y en cuanto a lo que uno sabe de, de muchas de esas tradiciones, mucho tiene que ver con fetichismo, que es... Eh, 
hacerte algo, un agüero o una... Pensar que algunos objetos o cosas como ejercen influencia sobre mi destino. Mm. Eso, es, eso es un tipo de fetichismo que eso está muy relacionado con la brujería. Entonces... Son yo, cosas yo, para yo, evitar. Sí, yo creo que mucha gente lo practica, pero ignora el trasfondo que tiene eh, hacer cosas como esas, ¿sí? So, question. All of these things, the yellow clothes, the grapes, the wheat, the grains, the suitcase, all of those things, even Christians do them? Puede ser que sí. Yo creo que And sí. Is, it, is it because of tradition then? Uh -huh. Yo pienso que es una tradición y ellos lo hacen. Es como without, lo, without thinking. Como lo que pasa el día de las velitas. Mm. Sí, prenden las velitas y todo eso cuando es una invocación pues, a, a María, ¿no? If you're curious about what he's mentioning with the day of the candles, I'll put a link um, up above so that you can check out that video we made uh, about another cultural holiday here called the day of the little candles. But yeah, even Christians, unfortunately, do a lot of these things because they don't realize the spiritual implication of them and they don't necessarily understand or realize that it's not something that we should be invoking. It's not something that that we need it, it's not biblical so but yeah today we've been trying to have fun and do some form of tradition we pretty much called it a date day uh, spent time as a family visited Andres's family and hopefully I'll get to do some things with my family this afternoon we did get to do a video call with them but hopefully we'll get to see them a little later via via zoom or via video call but we would love to know like I said what you guys do um, for New Year's. How do you guys make it special for your family? Un feliz año nuevo. Happy New Year. It's officially midnight. Playing games with you guys. Happy New Year. I'm gonna go say Happy New Year to my husband. Poor husband. I'm playing games and he's over here studying for a seminary. Happy New Year. Yeah. A New Year. Ready for more adventures? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I can hear them more than I can see them. Tons of fireworks. If you guys want to check out some more videos, um, I'll put a little card down here with some videos of us with ministry and things like that so that you guys can get to know us better. And we'll see you on the next video. Good morning. Happy New Year. Good morning. Happy New Year.